either you develop so much of sensitivity, you know, and that is possible through right understanding. Classical example is, I, you know, I often quote Rama and Sita, Mother Sita. Their astrological predictions were so good when Vishwamitra and Sage Vashistha, when they were consulted by Raja Dasarath, you know, the future of Lord Rama and Mother Sita. They said they are the best couple. Nothing can go wrong in their life. Moreover, they being avatars, they didn't have any previous impressions or previous sanskaras or baggage. Yet anything or everything that can go wrong in their life went wrong. Right? They had to go to forest. Rama had to abandon his wife make her go through various tests. That was quite frustrating, actually. And all this because of whom? Their destiny was influenced, but not by anybody else, but by their mother, Kai Kai, stepmother. She decided that her own son should become the king, and for 14 years, Ram, along, Ram should go to forest. It's all right that your son Bharat can become the king, but why send that poor fellow to forest? That is not understandable. But she took the advantage of the promise that was given by the king Dasrat. And their tradition was Prana Jaya Parvachan Nei Jaya, all nonsense. Ramayana suffered because of this Prana Jaya Parvachan Na Jaya, see? Similar thing, Mahabharat. Bhishma, so proud of keeping up his promise of protecting Hastinapur. He could have protected with Pandavas, associating with Pandavas. He could have better protected it. But no, he was loyal to a throne, not to an individual. So when you do realize that the promise that I made is not in the right interest of everyone, then it is okay to break the promise. I have to make my heart so generous. I have to make my mind so full of understanding that I don't form the impressions. Most of the time I form the impression because of misunderstanding. Someone says, someone jokes. I have to understand that it's just a joke. Don't take it to your heart. But some people say, Oh, no, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it, making fun of me. So this creates impressions about a person. We misjudge a person after it. And if you have this forgiving attitude, you will not accumulate anything at all. Bad things may form impression, but even good things form the impressions. You know, it is said, the bandhan to bandhan hi hai, whether lohe ki chain ho ya sone ki chain ho, bandhan to bandhan hi hai, right? It is easy to break away from the bad thing. How are you going to break away from good thing? Because it is so enchanting. Again, one by one, if you try to remove sanskars, it's going to be very difficult. But as Babuji says, you turn your head from here to here, or just with a snap of your finger, or as Lalaji says, with a blink of an eye, you can move from here to there. During that moment, that very special moment when you're making a quantum leap, 
in your consciousness. What becomes of those sanskars, whether you have earned it or somebody else forced onto you? It is like this. Whether but the only example that comes to my mind, how do you remove the darkness from your room? Do you remove little by little, one liter of darkness now, two liters later, ten liters? No. You turn the switch on or take a mombati or a candle. And that's it. All our practices are meant to bring about such light in our life. And this equivalent of light comparable in our life is awareness. Moments you become aware, darkness, sunscars, disappears. With right understanding, the burden of guilt also dissolves. That's why we often make this sankalpa that may all sisters and brothers throughout the world develop three things. Correct thinking, right understanding, and honest approach to life. If I have correct thinking and right understanding, most of my problems will go away. Existing problem. And having honest approach of li to life, it is like vaccination. You will not form any bad tendencies because you are so honest in your approach to life. So these three sankalpas take care of past and present and future. So, answering it briefly, increase the awareness through meditation, through cleaning, surrendering yourself little by little, or in one quantum jump, 